What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today I am challenging my own knowledge of guitar legend history and I invite you all to join me and see if you can match the guitar to the player. Now why is this gorgeous squire sitting here you might ask? For every answer that I get wrong or I'm unable to guess, I have to tune up this E string ever so slight. Oh God. Let's begin. Play along with me and see how you do. Number one. Okay, uh, it's a telly. <laughs> it's a very popular guitar. The one person that comes to mind when I think telly, especially vintage telly, this looks like a very old telly, 50s or 60s. I'm gonna guess Bruce Springsteen. You got it. Is that right? That's right. All right, cool. Next one. Oh, that one's easy. That's Dimebag Daryl, for sure. Yes. For sure. <laughs> Not even hard. Not even hard. Uh, okay, ESP. Okay, the Explorer. I know I know one very famous player who plays these guitars. And I think you all do too. And I'm gonna say James Hetfield of Metallica. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We three for three, baby, let's go. All right, next up we have, oh. Well, that's, that's seen the dusty old trail a few times. Uh, Willie Nelson? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Willie Nelson. Okay. The classic Strat. I know a lot of players that use this guitar, but in this instance, I'm going to guess Eric Clapton on this one. No. It's not Eric Clapton. Whose is it? Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Oh. Damn it. All right. Please. I'm not scared. Okay. Little Fender Jaguar. Who played this one? Was it, uh, I'm gonna guess Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Next. Okay, this one, I think you all know, and I said it before, this one has to be Eric Clapton's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> My dad would be so floored. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this guitar I've seen a few times. I believe, if my memory serves me, this is a Tom Morello guitar. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you made me question myself for a second. I didn't like that. Oof. Okay, so see, my memory is a little shady, but I'm pretty positive. It's Randy Rhodes. Yes. Another Strat. This one looks very burned. I think I know. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is the uh, the infamous guitar that the man Jimi Hendrix himself burned on stage. I mean, you just, you just know it. You just know. You just know. Ding, 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 ding. How are you guys doing at home? How many have you gotten right? Oh. Okay, um, I honestly, this is just a guess because I have no idea. I'm gonna say Cheap Trick. Who is it? Jack White. Jack White, really? Oh, I've never seen him with this guitar. I don't know why, I must be living under a rock. We meet again, young squire. <laughs> oh! Please. Ah. See, I know this one, and I'm gonna look like a fool if I get it wrong, but I know this one because I was just there and saw it and held it in my hands, and I'm gonna say Johnny Cash. Yeah! Okay, this one, I, ooh. Oh, who played this guitar? It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, god damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I? Oh! This video is sponsored by Ernie Ball. It's not. Next. Oh. Well, I would. Th this is Poseidon. I'm gonna say Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yes. The double neck SG, made famous by the one and only Jimmy Page. Yeehaw! Of course, you all knew that at home. Ah. Uh, ooh. Okay, okay, I think I know this one. The color kind of gives it away a little bit, and then just the fact that it's a PRS, but I still could be wrong. Carlos Santana? 
Okay. Yeah! Dude, I, I... Not to toot my own horn, but... Uh, doing pretty good, huh? Now this is probably the first one that actually kind of has me stumped. I don't know, I'm gonna guess uh, Muddy Waters? Zappa. Frank Zappa, oh. Ugh, I deserve this. Oh man. Oh, it's so close, dude. It literally made the cling noise. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, now this one, I have a much better guess on because of the color. I think a lot of the classic rock fans out there will know this one. Uh, I'm gonna guess Angus Young. Yeah. Woohoo! Ding ding dong! How are you guys doing? All right, this this one is iconic, 100%. Uh, this is the Brian May. Go! It just did the thing. It just did the thing. Okay, well now <laughs> that kind of scared me. Now I'm gonna have to go to the B string <laughs> and start tuning that up. This is the Brian May guitar, the guitarist of Queen. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, now this, this one, this one is, is, is the sauce. This is a sexy guitar. Uh, this, I believe, was played by none other than BB King. Nice. Okay, okay, this is a Strat. I'm not sure. Who is it? Richie Blackmore. Richie Blackmore. Oh! Oh God, it hurts. Oh, sweet Jesus, save me. Oh my. Oh my. Whoa. Oh, you know what gave it away? The neck, the inlays on the neck. That's the only reason why I know who it is. Uh, I'm gonna guess Tony Iommi. Yes. Woo! How are you doing at home? Did you guess those ones? Are you scared of the string like I am? Probably not. Oh, well this one, yeah, this one's pretty obvious. Uh, it's the uh, it, it, it's the inlays on the fretboard that gave it away. <laughs> now this one is of course the Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar. Yes it is. Hell yeah, okay, we in this, one more. Oh, pff, well, yeah, okay. I know who that is. Uh, one of my favorite all-time guitarists, Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that one was easy. There you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to see more. I'm gonna go study up on my guitar history a little bit. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.